Recently, I was scrolling through TikTok and stumbled across a video that reminded me of a Wes Anderson movie. Cut to the beat of a very funky bossa nova soundtrack. Visually, it was very captivating and was overall a fresh experience compared to the numerous copy-paste dancing videos I was seeing on the platform. This made me wonder, why was I so captivated with this one minute video? So I did some more digging. After watching it through a few more times, I realized the reason why I was so hooked was because of its cinematography. Usually when someone is referring to a quote, cinematic shot, a lot of times they're trying to reference something that is closely related to what we can commonly see in modern cinema. However, most people get really confused as to what cinematography is composed of, and I just wanted to define that really quick. Cinematography is defined as the art and technique of capturing motion pictures on film. It often involves the use of several variables to convey a story visually. By combining these variables and techniques, one can create engaging stories, whether it's talking about a specific subject or simply just showing people what a scene looks like. Most of your favorite movies or shows have dedicated roles to ensure that every element is contributing to the cinematography for the final film. From K-dramas to big budget productions, hell, even some anime movies have some of the best cinematography I've ever seen. The camera angle and how you move the camera can be used to show the perspective of the characters in your story or show the environment in which it takes place. So ideally you want to be giving multiple camera angles to give a bit more context for where the story is located. Adding more angles to a very simple scene can add more dynamic visuals to the overall shot. For example, if I were to shoot myself having a cup of coffee on the roof of this parking garage, normally it would be a boring shot just with me facing the camera head on. If I go ahead and change the different camera angles, it can give a bit more drama to the scene and show more of the scene to the viewer. This leads us to the next variable that you can control, which is the composition. Composition can create visual interest and emphasize important elements in the story. For example, when framing a character in the center of the shot, this establishes them as important while placing them off center can create a sense of imbalance. This isn't always the case as you can place your subject in different positions in the frame. This will allow for more depth to the scene and create more artistic shot for the viewer. Now, for example, for this talking head shot, the way I have it composed is I have it centered in the middle of the frame. Subject is clearly right here and I'm shooting from the corner of my entire room so you can see a lot of the leading lines kind of coming towards where my face essentially would be. In this other shot, I've got the main subject off to one third of the frame, but this allows us to get a quick glimpse of the background and understand where they're positioned in space. By using the rule of thirds, we can add more to what was previously established into the scene. This can be done by just positioning what we want our audience to be focusing on at different points in the film. If you are looking to add cinematic feel to your shots, I would include varying angles and composition by positioning your camera in different locations, as well as shooting at different focal lengths. Something I notice a lot of creators do if they say they want to create more cinematic footage is just shooting a single focal length, cranking the aperture wide open, and positioning the camera in the same angle, but just moving it forward or backward just a few steps. From my own experience, this usually is never enough to get that type of quote-unquote cinematic shot that you are looking for, so be sure to experiment with different angles and composition in combination with adjusting your aperture. The next variable that you should use to help portray a clearer visual story is lighting. Lighting is extremely important in cinema because depending on the lighting, this will drive a certain type of mood that will help progress the story. If we want to go for something that's bright and airy, I would ideally want to shoot something during the daytime. And for a more nostalgic and romantic look, we can opt to shoot at sunset where the lighting is going to be much softer and creates a glow within the scene. As different lighting changes the mood or atmosphere within the story, so does the overall color within the final shot. Color can be used to create an emotional response or convey a theme further adding to the visual story that you're trying to tell. Color can be used to create a sense of comfort and intimacy, while cooler colors can create a sense of distance or detachment. Color can be adjusted in production by adjusting the scene itself, changing location and finding a certain type of aesthetic, or even shooting in certain types of weather. For example, this shot was during sunset at the beach, and in contrast to this, here's a shot of me looking out my window in the rain where there's a significant lack of light and color. 
In the post-production process, you can color grade your footage to further convey certain types of emotions or themes. If you want your film to have a more nostalgic and old school feel, you can color grade your footage to resemble 35 millimeter film. Now, these are just some of the elements that you can use to help drive a visual story through cinematography. By combining these techniques, cinematographers can engage the audience and further drive the emotion and the overall story that the viewer is looking to experience. So hopefully this was helpful in helping you understand how you can improve your own visual storytelling. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below about any of the elements that we covered in this video. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you and I'll see you guys in the next one.